All right. So, Sean, I watched uh, Don't F in the Woods, too, this morning, and holy crap. Damn, that was a good movie. I was like, just from the even the, from the opening where we just we already see like a, a practically a kill about to happen up to the end, it was just mind blowing. It was awesome. I'm glad you liked it. So, how did you uh, how did you come up to return to the to the franchise? Um. Well, there. I mean, at first there were there were some people talking about it. But surprisingly, um, I wasn't even thinking about making a sequel. Uh, and I, I got a, an investor who was like, hey, I'm willing to put like 10 to 12,000 into this. Um, do you think you could do it for that? And I'm like, well, I mean, anything can be done. Our first, The first film was made for like 7,500. So yeah, I, th I think we can do that. And then um i started getting pumped about it started uh doing some promo shoots and like getting uh the the characters together and scripting and then as soon as we put like some information out that this was gonna be a thing um that investor just dis disappeared and to this day i've still never heard from him again Oh man! So uh, at that point, it was like, well, I guess we have to find a way to make this movie now. So um, that's what initially started it, and then we just uh, did a Indiegogo campaign, and then uh, yeah, we had a budget, so we kept on going. Yeah, I I like the fact that with the first one. You just took like one of the classic horror tropes and focused just on that. You we always see like a whole bunch of tropes together, but just to focus on the one singular trope that happens in almost every slasher film and add that creature element, that was mind blowing. And you did it again here. And the cast in this was great. I'm glad that uh they did an excellent job on this. I mean, it must be the blast work. I saw the blooper, you know, you get to see the outtakes during the credits, but obviously it looked like it was a fun shoot. It's it's one of those things that it's a it's definitely a labor of love, but uh, I mean one of the main reasons I like to put the bloopers and stuff for those in those end credits is to a lot of the times like I mean that did take four years for us to like produce a final, um, so it's like there were some good shoots. Uh, the very first week was fun, but those were also we were shooting for like 21 hours a day oh wow so uh it, it was fun but it was chaotic it was hectic um but but i'm i'm glad that uh the film came together in the end yeah i totally agree with that um the kill scenes were like the the crazy scenes like you know even the kills were like really good um how, how long did that take to get done the, the, the special effects um for some of them uh like uh when gil brings the uh the saw down on on one of the creatures um the the effects team which was uh stephen hodkey rob collins and blaze bolden they made this they called it, uh, I, I believe it was the Gorgon 3000. <laughs> and it's, it attaches to a, uh, like a shop vac. And it's gravity fed to where they basically took this two gallon jug and put it on top. And like, you can just fill it with whatever. And then they turn the shop back on in reverse or something. And as soon as that jug goes over and stuff comes down, it just shoots it right out. Oh wow! So I like um, that name. I like that name, though. Gorgon Three Thousand. I think that. I think uh, we should. They should uh, I think. Yeah, I, 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 I like that. It's a nice ring to I, it. I think they could like make a prototype and and sell it to other like effects companies. Like here you go. <laughs> That's awesome.
So how are the creatures done in turn like I know that you can tell there are practical effects, but I know that was the same team, but how did they get to move so like realistically? I mean, that was pretty impressive. Well, one of the main things is that well, and we never you never get to see it in the film, but there's a next stage of the creatures, which I know will be in the deleted scenes of the Blu-ray. Um but luckily, they didn't have to have a lot of the prosthetics that we made on them mm -hmm. um, because it gets to the point where they have like these big like pustules hanging and, and whatnot uh, to where really we chose which actors were going to become like, I don't even know what to call them. I guess we, we, could, we could call them the creeps because it reminds me of the movie Night of the Creeps. When, right. they get, when they get attacked by the slug monsters, they become like zombified. I call them the creeps. So we can kind of call, we can say, yeah, we can call them the creeps. <laughs> I guess yeah. you could say. Um, we we made, up, yeah, I think we should come up with a name for that for, for the next installment. <laughs> yeah. Um, we just wanted to make, we just definitely like, uh, when we were writing, um, we, ha we had the people cast already. So we definitely like, okay, well, who do we want to have, like, become a creature? Um, so we made sure that those people could handle, like, A, some of the stunts, and then be able to, like, move in a specific way. Because, um, yeah, they, they they took those those roles over for sure. Yeah, de they definitely did. And, you know, sometimes when... when uh... I could I could kind of feel the pain that they were feeling in the film as they were going through their ordeal and yeah they they're really dedicated they're a really dedicated cast I think they did a great job. How long did shooting take on the film? Um, I want to say it took a grand total of fourteen days, but spread out over like. Four years. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. So it's a it got, I mean, it got to the point where because we first started filming, we filmed the first five days in 2019, mm -hmm. and then the well, pandemic, yeah, uh, which slowed us down a lot. To where um, I know we filmed like three days and. 2020 and then a couple more in in 21 oh. uh yeah it was but also we had other film projects we were doing like we're we were a full-scale uh production company here so it was finding the time and aligning everybody's schedules that was just a pain yeah, I, yeah, I've I've noticed that when the pandemic hit, people started doing that. They would shoot for a while, stop production, and then get back into it over the course of time until yeah. finally, you know, until you finally hit post. But the good the good news is, we get good films as a result. You know, I mean, could you imagine? Could you imagine a Hollywood film doing that? And then it's like, what a waste because you know, right. using all that money for nothing. Where, you know, you guys are on a minuscule budget, but you make the most of it and you still turn out quality products like this. Like I, I actually enjoyed this one so much. Sure. That, so, <laughs> and yeah, you know, I, I know, and I bet that investor who originally lured you, I, I bet, I bet he's kicking himself in the foot. He's going to kick himself in the foot when that movie gets released. I hope he does because <laughs> I, I honestly, I don't even remember his name anymore. It's been that long. <laughs> well, it's, it, it's his loss. Cause I, like I said, you know, you, you ended up, I mean, this is a hell of a movie, and let's just face it, we saw the teaser for the th a third one. So, is that something in development in right now, or um, it's not in the in development at the moment, but we're it's it's in the back of my head because I've always wanted to do a trilogy. So I made sure I had I left this one open for several different ways that I could come back into it. That could work. And I and I hope maybe by then you'll come up with a name for the the, the yeah. zombified versions. 
between that and I, I, I feel I need to finally tell people like an origin. Ooh, that'll be of some sort. So, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe I, you could do maybe you do like a like what they did with the Godfather two in a way. Show like the origin mixed in with the modern like the modern the present day stuff. Yeah, maybe that's something. That's wishful thinking, but you never, you know, like you never know. It, 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 <laughs> It can happen, you know. If you get the right, you, know, you get the right people involved. You, it, it, I think you could pull it off. I, yeah. I honestly think you could pull that off. Yeah, I totally do. So uh, finally, what is uh, is there anything that you're working on in the meet and while you're waiting, uh, while you're thinking of ideas for the third one? Oh, I'm always working on something. Uh, I just finished um, about uh, a year ago about a year ago um i think uh time is so weird here uh, <laughs> uh i finished up uh my film that came to follow don't fuck in the woods too called stranded uh which uh already has distribution wild eye releasing will be releasing that as well um but it is the complete opposite end of the spectrum film wise like it is a very serious tone film and it's about uh, four siblings that uh, have been just not dealing with one another for years and uh, their mother dies and her last wishes are to have her ashes sc scattered uh, at a lake house that they used to visit. So they have to come together, make this drive and on the way there, they get stranded and uh, they get stranded in a location called uh, Falk, Arkansas, which is where the the Boggy Creek monster is, like Ooh. big. So it's a Bigfoot film. Oh wow! But well, it's serious tone. Well, that's good. So I, I'm glad. I'm glad you. You know, I'm, I think filmmakers should be allowed to, to attack. You know, even though they can stay within the genre, do something a little different with it, like like you did here and. Right, like I like to, I've done a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and like, I kind of like that. I, I don't think I could choose just one. Right. And this is the type of movie I'm going to make for uh, this career. So. Yeah. Oh, well, I can't wait to see it. I, Wild Eye is amazing. I, lo I, I love their films, their distributions, and I'm definitely looking forward to Stranded. But in the meantime, Don't Luck in the Woods can come out, is coming out next week. And I hope everyone gets to see it and enjoy it like I did. And Sean, man, I wanted to thank you again for taking the time to talk about it. And hope everything keeps going, man. I, and I, I hope you get the third one off the ground. I, I'm going to be looking forward to that one. <laughs> I, I think if we do a third one, I'm going to break it up into two parts like Twilight did. <laughs> yeah, you know, that will be a good idea. Put put like an origin for the first, like maybe the first part and then the modern one for the second one. You know, tease it first. Tease right. out. That's what I would do. You don't have to listen to me about it. I'm just giving you ideas. So you never know. <laughs> but uh, again, thank you so much for taking the time to talk about uh, the movie. And I, I hope everyone gets to see it. Yeah, thank, thanks for inviting me. All right. Well, everyone take care. We'll see you next time. Yeah.